We live in Georgia. We live in the suburbs. We've got a backyard, so we've got space. It's not huge, it's not small. Big enough for the kids to run around and definitely big enough to make a garden. And so that's what I really wanted to do this year. Come January, February, uh, we were starting these beds and getting everything all laid out. This was all bamboo before. Last year, we spent a good six months removing bamboo. This entire area was all bamboo and we cut it down, we had it ground out, then new bamboo was growing so we had to dig it out and have it reground. So at this point, it is the sunniest part in our yard so I want to utilize it as the garden space but I'm also being precaution, like it's just taking a couple precautions because I'm very aware that potentially bamboo could grow back again. We were really lucky and our neighbors got a ton of dirt delivered that they didn't need. So I had it brought up to our driveway and we placed it on plastic tarps and it's been waiting for me to move it over to our garden area that we're starting. Hearing how fertilizer prices would be going up and knowing how dirt was getting expensive, this was really a blessing. Okay, so I was able to do quite a bit, but I'm actually a little surprised at how much dirt I still have left over. I had originally planned to just put the top coat all over this entire area, but then I worried that the bamboo would grow through, so I purchased these three beds. They're steel, well, they're aluminum beds. They're also have this mesh, they have this mesh underneath for weeds, and I'm placing some wood chips over them as well. But after doing that, I still have so much soil left. I've got room for another bed along through here, and I'm contemplating whether I not want a bed on this side or whether I'm gonna fill in with grass and have this be the beginning of the bed. So in building out the garden, I ended up building out even more. And honestly, looking at it today, I have plans to make it even larger. So if you've got space, utilize it. There's definitely lots of ways that you can do it. Um, I am really happy with year one. Tons of cucumbers. They just keep giving every single day, so that's exciting. Our tomatoes didn't do so hot, but we did have tomatoes, which was pretty cool. And we had a lot of other plants. We learned a lot of different lessons, such as don't plant corn in one row. We had to hand pollinate it. Every stalk had corn, but we ended up having to hand pollinate it, so it was a lot of work. We're currently in mid-growing season here in June. 